Okay, so um, getting your results from your form is a little bit different in the new version of forms. Um, I'm just going to open a, uh, an example form that I have. Um, this opens to the edit screen, so this you as the teacher would be, you know, you can change the, the questions um, or edit the questions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, remember going up to the little eyeball is the preview. That's where you get the live form that student or anybody can actually fill out. So this is the actual link that you send to your students. Um, I'm going to click on the little pencil up here to edit the form, or I've got it here. Um, this is a little temperamental, this new form, so it's a little bit tricky. Um, but if you just go to, back to the edit screen, okay, it shows questions, and then it shows responses. So you click on responses. And it gives you like just kind of a quick look at who's responded. That doesn't really help you that much. Um, you want to see it in a spreadsheet form, so you just click, sort of mouse over this little uh, Google Sheets icon. It says view responses in Sheets, or it should view responses in Sheets. Um, it may ask you when you click on it, do you want to create a new sheet or add to an existing sheet? I just usually create a new one. And it'll add this sheet to your Google Drive. And then you can, um, there are a number of ways to do it. You can sort on class period, you can sort on class name, you can sort on name. Um, I'm going to do oops. I'm just going to highlight everything. That's the way I do it. Data, sort range, has a header row, in other words, it has column headings. So we first want to sort on your class period, and then maybe you want to sort on name. And there's everybody in my first period. There's everybody in my second period, third period, 10th, 4, 5, 6. So hopefully that's helpful.